Good morning, everyone. It is time for another pattern. But before we get started, I want to let you know that there's another new ebook available. Um, Ina has created a book uh, based out of a lot of things she's already been thinking of, but she uh, brought it out at uh, Tangle Mania. And even the more experienced Tanglers uh, thought it was a really good resource. So she's put it out for sale. Um, it's so if you at pattern-collections.com on the regular homepage, um, go past all the places where we normally go and go right down to here and click on this one. Mindful drawing and creative pattern tangling. Um, it talks about um, the mindful drawing and creative pattern uh, pattern tangling talks about um, the meditation portion of, of Zentangle drawings um, Mindful pattern tangling shading practice uh, Building how to build your go-to pattern library and then this new thing which is creative pattern tangling CPT I have, uh, the book just came out, well, by the time you see this, the book will have been out a week or so. Just came out yesterday for me, and I have not yet had a chance to um, purchase it and look through it, um, but I'm sure it's fantastic because all the books I've gotten so far have been fantastic. Um, this is what it looks like on the, on the front, and then um, she tells you about, uh, it's, it's not just for beginning tanglers, even um, seasoned tanglers, tanglers like Ellen Walters. Oh, if you've never been on Ellen Walters' uh, YouTube channel, check her out. She's awesome. Um, they were impressed when she first in, introduced the concept. And so right now it's uh, $9 uh, US um, for 25 pages of information and stuff on... Uh, how creative pattern tangling has a positive influence on your brain and how you can boost your creativity through doing creative pattern tangling CPT. Um, and then she does have, she gives you uh, one free page here that is the introduction in her book. It's page two and it talks about um, the right brain and the left brain and how, uh, Right now, a lot of people are out of balance. They use all one side or the other, and mostly it's this side, the logic, the analysis, the math, the facts, the organized. We tend to do that because we have become computer-driven um, society, which requires you to be this way, because that's what computers are, logical and ma mathematical and, and organized and factual. Um, and you lose creativity and imagination and intuition um, if you're not using it and how the brain cells die. It's a very interesting, uh, just even if you don't buy the book, read this page um, because it's very interesting. Uh, but just based on this page and the introduction, I can tell you this is going to be a fabulous book. So, you know, I need to buy it. Just saying. I need to get my acting gear and, and click on the little thing uh, to purchase the the book all you have to do is of course I've probably gone back too far let me click on that again I went back one too many backward spaces click on this little buy it now button that will take you to the page where you can make your purchase It takes you to PayPal and um, I am not going to put in my stuff, but you pay with PayPal. Um, once you put in your information, you click on that. It will put it in your shopping cart and away you go and you will get it via digital format. It is an ebook. So that I wanted to let you know before we got started here. Now I need to turn, close that so I can get back to our patterns. Okay, so back to the home page. 
we're going to go back to pattern focus and find today's pattern, which is Bermuda. I'm almost caught up with the group here. Um, Nicole was kind enough to give me the December, all of December's patterns. I get a sneak peek. Um, just so that I can draw ahead because um, she knows that that for the video purposes I'm unable to draw every single day so she's giving me a heads up I am so grateful for that thank you Nicole this one's called Bermuda by Ina Sona Moser our fearless leader and uh, it's triangular based you know the Bermuda Triangle ha <laughs> ha I love it okay so it doesn't show it very well in the step out and you probably can't see it on your screen but on my screen I can see not only are we going to do we're going to do dashes in whatever shape we want to do dashes as sort of a ribbon um, we're going to do dashes and then we're going to do a parallel set of dashes like so but right here and, and I can see it on my phone but I can see that on the, on the viewfinder for my camera, you probably can't see it, but very faintly right here, there's a pencil line. And that she's using that pencil line for step number two, which is to draw a triangle coming from that little dash up to that pencil line. Okay. And down to that pencil line. So we're gonna draw a bunch of triangles have like a caterpillar of triangles then step number three between and not touching but between each of those triangles we're going to do another dashed line right along that pencil line so that pencil line will just kind of disappear another dashed line and then we're going to fill in triangles this way so it's a row of triangles going up and down but they don't touch, they have a space in between them. And then if you want to, you can put either a Y-shaped pattern or just a single straight into there. And this one shows it kind of random. Here's a border using it with the Y shapes and filled in differently. Here is, I really, I find this one stunning. Look at that. She's done it in a, did it, I think she probably started here with one there and maybe here and then got them kind of next to each other there and just filled them in. Look at how fun that one is. I think that's the direction I'm going to go. Just because I've never seen anything like that. I'm, I'm excited to give that a try. So, turn on my light. I think the hardest part of this one is going to be figuring out your um, composition because the actual drawing of triangles is not overly difficult. Um, I am going to give myself a border. All right. Okay. Like that. And then Decide where I'm going to put this. I'm going to I'm going to make myself a string. Um, I like this whole sort of swoopy thing she did. That was really cool. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do a string like that. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to base my my pattern on that. I'm going to 
give myself a little pencil line going up and down and then maybe one goes like that no no I don't like I don't like those those are too regular I want it more irregular yep I want it a little more off center so I'm gonna close close my eyes and do ah much more off center okay I'm gonna start with that we're just gonna start with that one and build off of it right okay so I'm gonna do dashes I need to zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna do little dashes going one like that do 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 Got myself a roller coaster of dashes here. Like that. And then nearby will be these dashes. Okay, got myself a roller coaster of dashes. Now, I'm gonna make myself a little string of where I want those triangles to go. And I'm not making them, see, I made it swoopier. I'm not making them even. I'm gonna do it like that. It's going to be closer. They're going to be smaller here and bigger over there. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to start up here. Make my triangle. And I'm going to make one going this way. I'm just going to do them back to back like that. Not too sure why I even drew those, but. Okay. This one I might be a little quiet while I'm drawing because at least until I get to the coloring in part because just making sure I got my triangles in the right place is a little needs a bit of concentration. I hope I haven't been completely off page while I was drawing. Oh goodness sakes. I think I probably was okay. Trying really hard to remember that you guys need to see what I'm doing and not just hear me. So there's that. And now on this pencil line, I'm going to in between 
do another dash, not touching those triangles. Some of them are much smaller than others. Now in here, might only just be one little sliver. Draw a triangle down this way. If I can get all the way down to that pencil line, I will. If I can't quite get in there, I will just stop it shorter. That's fine. way So far, so good. Okay, now my question is, compositionally, do I want to do another row somewhere? So I'm gonna back out so I can see it from a distance. Yeah, okay. So we're going to obviously need a little line. Between that one and that one. Like that. And then I'm just going to go to here. And to there. We'll do that one next and see what happens. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, echo this triangle here with those dashes. Right along there. 
because that one mirrors that one, but I'm going to have that one mirror this one. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Oh, now you're far away again. Zoom me back in. I found it easier to do. No, I'm going to do it this way. Like that. Try it like that. I'm not sure that's quite right, but it will have to do. Okay, and then my little... Some of these are going to be really fat. It's okay. There's going to be these really skinny ones. Now, compositionally, do I want to do anything else? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I could do another row right there, but I don't think I want to. And then my question is, do I want to fill it in black like she has on her sample, or do I want to just leave it like this? Or what do I want to do with it? And that is another question all together. Oh, it looks cool like that too. Not like that. I don't think I like it like that. But that way is alright. And that's the way I drew it. But now I'm beginning to, to like that as a composition. Sort of this. That way. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do this and see what I think about it. If I don't like it, I can always fill it in. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a line down and then making that Y shape and then just filling in this corner.
don't know that that's enough dark for me. But maybe, maybe I'll do these on this one and this one and the middle one I'll fill in completely. Maybe that's what I'll do. Let's try that. Because, you know, if you don't like it, you can always fill it completely in. All right. This is going to take a while, folks. If you want to fast forward to the end, go right ahead. I'm not going to be really saying anything important or significant. I'm just going to be coloring. You won't miss a thing, I promise. Of course, after I say that, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe now I should say something significant. And then only those who are diehards and who sat through the whole thing and didn't fast forward will know. No, that would be me. I'm just being silly. Truly, I'm not planning on saying anything important here. Just... I do think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these Y-shaped pieces here. On the two outside rows. And then in the middle, I'm going to do it filled completely in black. I think that would be a good way to go. have been doing is trying to figure out what I want to do for my Christmas compositions and, and I've come up with a few ideas and so um, I'm going to make a separate video about that. And then I've got a couple of um, patterns that I really like to use but in my Christmas card making that I've used in the past um, but they're not part of Pattern Dash Collections they are hosted elsewhere either on somebody's blog or as a official Zentangle or at tanglepatterns.com which tanglepatterns.com is an awesome excellent resource you guys you know want if you think that, that, that we don't have enough patterns here at pattern dash collections and you want to find some more then there's a few uh, several hundred more over at the other site they're everywhere. They really are. Um, and then, you know, if you want ideas for Christmas and Christmas cards, wow. Just go to, um, you, know, you can do a Google search or you can go to Pinterest and type in um, Christmas Zentangle you will get everybody who's ever pinned a Christmassy uh, Zentangle idea ever. That was crazy. I, I was on there this morning. Tons and tons and tons of ideas that just... You could just spend all day just looking at those ideas. But I didn't. Because I needed to draw. So well, that was important. So I came over here instead of sitting on my computer looking at Pinterest. Way better move here, Dono.
Okay, I'm making progress. I'm getting there. I just came to a thought. I have not gotten a new postcard from the jury room. They uh, sent me jury duty summons for the second week of December. That is a bad time to be on jury duty for me. Yeah. So I called them up and asked if I could be postponed and if my jury service could be changed to a different venue. They had me going all the way over. Yeah, too far. I, I live, well, I thought I lived like four miles from a courthouse. But apparently, when I called up to have the venue changed, that courthouse has been closed. <clears throat> and then I live eight, eh, seven and a half miles from the other courthouse. But then the third courthouse is like 14 miles away, and that's the one they wanted me to go to. And I'm thinking, no. Um, in where I live, uh, and where that courthouse is located is not the best part of town. Um, yeah, where I live, that's traffic getting 14 miles over there. It would take me almost an hour to get to court. That's crazy. I, I didn't really want to drive an hour each way or more to jury duty. So I asked if I could change venues and change dates and she said yes. She would do both and she said they were going to send out a new postcard. Now maybe they won't send the postcard until later, until it's just about time a couple weeks ahead of my actual jury service, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, the last time I had jury duty, I ended up actually on a jury. And it was in the end of November, and it went all the way through till January. It was a big case. Did it turned out to be a murder case with more than one defendant, and it was gang charges, and yeah, it was it was bad. Um, lots of. Not a whole lot of witnesses. Well, yeah, well, I'll take it back. A lot of, of witnesses with circumstantial, you know, the, the officers and the coroner and the ballistics experts and those kind of things. Um, not a lot of witnesses to the actual event, but there were a few. Uh, yeah, it was... It was interesting. Um, unfortunately, you know, you have to see all the evidence and in a murder case, yeah, you know, it's not like on TV. And once it's been seen, it can't be unseen. It's, it's, it's a difficult thing to be on a murder trial. It just is. Um, and yeah, we decided that these guys did it and that they, uh, they might not have planned it. The, you know, we're gonna go out and kill somebody today. 
but they certainly were prepared to um, to shoot uh, to defend their territory as gang members. So yeah, they kind of had they were ready. Multiple weapons on them. And yeah, just yeah. In any case, oh look at that. That's looking really cool. Okay, I like I like my choice of doing just the middle part dark. But what I'm trying to say is I really didn't want to start a jury service if I ended up on, because I, I noticed as I was sitting there in the jury room uh, when they were picking jury, jurors, the people who had been on a jury before were more likely to uh, remain, that the lawyers were less likely to kick you out. Um, if you say you've already served as a juror, um, especially if you were on a case where it was resolved one way or the other, you came to a verdict, the lawyers like that, that you're somebody who is able to make a decision one way or another. Um... So I'm afraid that I was going to get stuck on a jury, which is fine. I don't mind doing my jury service. It's absolutely something that that you should do as a as a citizen. Um, just not in December. It's our busiest time of year. Retail people do not want. To your manager does not want you to be on jury service in December. And the only reason I didn't ask for a postponement last time, to be honest, is because I was working for a jerk manager who I really didn't like. And I wasn't going to go out of my way to postpone something just to make his life easier. So I just, eh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Sorry, I have jury duty. But I'm not gonna do that this time. This manager is awesome, I really like him. He treats me with respect. And thus, I retreat him with respect back. That other dude, not so much. You know, I've only been with the company over 30 years and he treated me like I had no idea and had no brain in my head. And that just was, was like, oh well, sorry, I have jury duty. Sometimes you got to treat people the way, give them some respect, give them some, some kindness. And, you know, they will do back to you. And if you don't, and you treat people like dirt, you know what, they really don't care. It's the way thing. that's the way of the world. You know, you want people to, to like you or to, to care about your situation, you need to be care about theirs. And if, if you don't, well then, you know, they're gonna go, eh, too bad. That's how it works. And it might not have been the might not have been the best attitude I had with that manager. Really, you know, I know I, I didn't have a good attitude with that manager. Um, but I believe that I was in the place where I was supposed to be.
Give myself a little border here. Gee, I think that's two times in a row I've done a, a soft border. Okay. And then decide if it needs some kind of, how's it gonna live? Is it gonna live this way? Yeah, maybe. And if it lives this way, I think I want just a little bit of shading, but most of it here. That's cool. You know what it looks like? It looks like a piece of a snake. Just like the, the middle. Like just a small piece of snake as it's crawling. Ew, that's cool. All right, let's see. I need to Bermuda, right? Yes. All right, that one took a little longer. It was all that coloring in. Oh, hope you stick with me. If you didn't and you skipped over the middle part, that's okay too. I said nothing. Really, talked a little about jury Sue's service. Nothing important. Nothing Zentangle related. All right, so you guys have a great day. We are nearing the end of December's Official video videos. I'm already in December with when it's going to be posted, but um, because I'm behind I will catch up. I promise got one more and Then we start our Christmas tangles. So I'm gonna get this last one done I'm gonna take myself a break because I've been sitting here a couple hours give my battery a new battery and give my camera a little bit of a rest and I will be back and we're gonna start Christmas after the very next one. What is the next one? I've gotta take a peek. It's called Boa Zin, and it's a sort of a flowery, petal-y sort of a thing. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it, and I will see you guys tomorrow, or on the next video, um, because I don't know, I may put two up in one day in order to kind of catch up since I'm behind. All right, see you guys later. Bye.